Hello, today I'm going to show you a 3D, a 3D visual, visualiz, visualization system I've made that I call Grand Lens. This video will be a few minutes long, but because I have a short attention... What's that? Oh, what is Hello Kitty doing there? Oh, and she's so cute and she's wearing a penguin outfit. Ooja boogie, ooja boogie. Oh yes, ooja boogie. This? This is a hand-shaped back scratcher. It'll be what I used to point with because no one likes to look at hands up close. Unless they're really nice hands, which most people don't have. Anyway, this is Grand Lens. I'll show you the important part first so you can stop watching early if you get bored. After that, I'll show you kind of how it works, and then I'll hawk my book, which explains it in detail. So let's turn off the lights and turn on the fun. Ah, stupid ladder. Okay, here we go. Flip, he turns on the lights. Now let's take a look. Okay, it looks like a bunch of red. Well, actually it's supposed to be a floating 3D cube made of red dots. Unfortunately, my limited handcrafting skills means it's not as obvious as I'd like. But it's still there. I'll walk back and forth a few times to show you what I mean. Ignore this outside red border. That's just light seeping through because I didn't make the light box small enough. See, those kind of look like lines, right? And here. See how they change when I move? That's because it shows a cue from any and all angles. It's fully 3D. You'll also notice that you don't need to wear 3D glasses to see it. That's because this is completely different from 3D TV. All right, let's turn the lights back on. Do you kind of understand? Yes? No? Maybe it's not? Ah, that is stupid. Okay, here I am. Wait, where did Hello K go? Oh, well. Now let's look at how this thing works. First, we'll notice that most of it is just metal frame. The only part of the design that makes this 3D is a thin layer of folded transparencies. Wipe helped me fold them. Thanks, Wipe. No problem. The light that passes through them and creates the cube comes from this box behind it. It looks like a fancy mechanism. But it's actually just a wooden box with four red lights. Thanks for making this light box, stepdad. Oh, he's not here. Anyway, that's it. It's just like going through folded transparencies. Simple, huh? If you're bored at this point, I'll tell you what you need to know. The website that sells the book I wrote that describes how Grand Lens <coughs> works and more is 5deck.com. 5deck.com. The book is called 4V How to Make a Holodeck in Three Easy Steps or Less. If you still have more time, I'll give you a few more details about Grand Lens. If you still wonder what the transparencies exactly look like, and how they're folded, then I'll have to take your outside to show you that. Oh, yeah. Mario is my homeboy. Oh, and look at these kicks. I can still totally wear dress shoes, but I'll be protected from snow and mud. And it looks like I have sweet-a robot feet. 
Speaking of the office, they totally stole my idea. Okay, well not stole, but they had the same idea which made mine seem even stupider than it already was. Which it was. One episode, Michael stated his idea for chair pants. I used to tell people my favorite silly idea as a joke. It was chair pants. I think they could work, but the chair part would have to be some sort of flexible 3D truss that folds into a compact jointed wire array which bends with the knees when on use. Oh yeah, one idea they didn't mention was crotch cup holder. Foldable crotch cup holder. So now we go outside. Why outside? Because there's a huge snow bank here. What's that? Hello, Kitty? Hey, Kitty, what are you doing riding on an M? Oh, well. Anyway, we need to get to see the transparencies. Just for fun, I put them on the opposite side of this snowbank, so let's go. Okay, where is it? <sighs> I have a question about Hello Kitty in the penguin outfit. Is she a penguin with a cat tattooed on her chin? Or is she a cat wearing a penguin outfit? Oh, here's the tarp, by the way. This tarp is highly flammable. That's what it says, at least. Why would something that's supposed to protect against water be flammable? It's like someone casted a water elemental defense spell on it, making it weak against its opposing element. Also, why is an inflammable pronounced or spelled inflammable? Everyone would understand it better that way. So each one of these transparencies was cut and folded in pieces like the ones at the top. It's hard to see the transparencies because they're dark and shiny, which doesn't work well with cameras. Let's go look at the ones that were cut out and folded. You see, this is what it looks like when one of the five on each page is cut out. This one, it's hard to see, but it's been, the little edges have been cut and folded in. This one's been completely folded into pyramids. Okay, that's enough out here, Ness. Oh, my t my boxes fell off. Oh. Look at that snowbank. That's like 15 feet tall. Hey, where did Hello K go? HK, I'm going to get you later. Here we go. And that's that. It's called Brand Lens because it acts like a flat lens into further dimensions. What I would call a grand lens. The D is missing from grand because the device metaphorically sacrifices one dimension. Or one D. The D comes from the word grand and the one comes from the cubical illusion. It's 15 inches instead of a neater 4 squared 16 inches wide. This sign in front is part of an optical illusion made to look like it's part of a cube from isometric view when it's viewed with the support bars around it. Let's see if we can see it. Okay, it's hard to read, but it kind of looks like a cube. Next, this base. It's just a temporary base with wheels. My stepdad made it. Thanks again, stepdad. He's still not here. The base, as originally conceived, is over here. If I had a higher garage, I could put it on this base. But then it'd be really tall, and it would rip through my ceiling. It's like a cube growing out of the ground at an angle with three stepped, cubically oriented bars as center supports. The chains here, And on the main design, a 
A bolsa bolsa symbolizes the image escaping the confines of lower dimensional systems. Garage art at its finest, yes? No! Also the frame rotates. The box from behind. Stupid back scratcher. Okay, I'll just use my hand. There we go, it's rotating. You can see it rotated. And it rotates this way too. Along the pivot at the bottom. That way you can see that there's no tricks. It's all just transparencies and light. So now you are underwhelmed by this thrilling excitement. <laughs> <coughs>